Hello people, Ollie the Tea Guru here. Um, I just want to kind of initiate a conversation because I'm, I'm, I'm talking to tea drinking veterans and newbies here, specifically on the importance of um, the varying factors of a tea which makes it great. So generally, um, to make a tea very good, it needs to have um, good flavour, <clears throat> good mouthfeel. In terms of uh, some oolongs and pu'er, uh, a good feeling as well. And you can get a cheap tea which will excel in one of these things. But to get a tea that will excel on all fronts um, will be very expensive. But for people who are um, newly on the track regards um, uh, tea appreciation, <clears throat> you will notice that, um, I don't know, say for example, um, you're into oolongs or pu'er, or whatever it is, um, you will just start to notice when you're ta tasting and testing different teas, um, you will start to see that some have... Um, different mouthfeels, some have great mouthfeels, some are very thin, and you will notice that, and you will start to appreciate over the, the months and years um, the different forms of mouthfeel, um, and when that happens, you'll start to look back at the teas that you used to appreciate, and maybe cast them aside a little bit, <laughs> um, because mouthfeel um, I can tell you from where I am this far down the track, um, mouthfeel is is a, a big factor. Um, I really s would struggle to to put anything in store um, that had a very lacking mouthfeel um, that was very thin. It had really it would have to excel um, very very well in one respect or another. Um, but if it doesn't got an adequate, a fair amount of mouthfeel, I, I can't regard it as a, as a tea really that I'd like to have in store. That's kind of where I am. When I started my tea journey, I was all about the flavour. Um, I was uh, innocent, doe-eyed and um, naive, really. Um, I didn't know anything else apart from flavour. So the teas that really struck me were the ones that were flavorful. Uh, Dahong Pao, Taguan Yin, um, Oolong's generally great, um, silver, sil silver Needle, and cheaper Pua really wasn't a problem. <clears throat> uh, because there was an abundance of flavor, especially with the aggressive um, ones like uh, uh, Dei Munghai Tea Factory. But when you move further in your tea journey, you start to understand that flavour isn't the only... Flavour isn't the only factor to consider. Um, Mouthfeel, texture is also very important. So I'm at a stage now where I'm, I'm kind of, I've hit a question to myself. I'll tell you why. Um, I recently tried some um, Lapsang, Lapsang Blacks. And they are very different to the older Lapsang Blacks that I had, the older Lapsang Blacks. Um, were very complex, smooth enough, um, very complex in flavour, more flavour, and very interesting. The the new lapsangs, because I can't get hold of the old ones now, um, the new lapsangs I had in were more expensive. Um, the flavour was fairly one-dimensional, multi. Um, however, the, the mouthfeel, the texture was elegant and smooth and, and, and better than the original Lapsangs that I sourced. <clears throat> and 
<clears throat> the problem I've got is the well, it's not really a problem. I mean, I prefer if I put them side by side, I'll pick the complex flavors and the lower lower than average mouthfeel lapsang over the more expensive um, single dimensional flavor black with very good mouthfeel, very elegant. And I know that the Chinese market is doesn't think like this. I'm asking myself, should I change my perspective? Should I put mouthfeel, this is effectively what's happening, should I put mouthfeel and texture over complex flavours? Um, and I'm not too sure. I mean, I had this as well in, in um, Tea Town in, in Guangzhou. Last time I visited, um, I tried, um, it was actually another black tea, and it was, I, I couldn't see the um yeah sure it was it was it it was um the texture was great but the flavor was kind of one dimensional and in my head it was kind of worth 30 percent less than the guy was asking for us so i couldn't see the beauty in it so i'm just sort of struggling myself as to whether i i mean should i really be pushing myself to tell myself okay in china tea is seen to be better in this regard than that regard should i carry on the way i am in preferring complex flavors over mouthfeel because that's effectively what's happening um i'm wondering whether it's kind of anglo-saxon um preferences <laughs> so i'm really interested to hear what you guys think um on this guys if you want to know what the pinnacle of black tea is um in the eyes of the chinese you have to look at this this is some of the best black tea you will find on the planet Fengqing, uh linkang area um is famous for its black tea and this particular um, needle tea, needle black, is from some of the mother bushes that made this area famous. What are you going to get when you brew this stuff up? You want to talk about mouthfeel? This stuff has some of the best mouthfeel I've, I've ever experienced. So if you really know, if you really want to know what I'm talking about when I'm talking about mouthfeel, um, give this a go. It is the uh, Fong Ching Mother Bush black tea shout out to philip at iwu mountain tea i'm trying one of his samples this is a uh, gaoshan gushu uh, light kill green processing um give it a shot Ooh. philip it's um or the aroma of the rims. Uh, more sort of, um, for me, quite bright, um, and not as kind of peachy syrupy. Whether that's a good thing or a bad thing, I don't know. Different. Nice amount of returning sweetness, actually. More than I remember from um, from other Gaoshans. So yeah, um, help me out and tell me what what you think i mean i'm not going to be um guilty that i'm in i'm in this zone of thinking um but i am concerned that if i do not uh progress further down the line towards what is the status quo in china as to what is good and what it's not then i'm uh, halting my my own uh, furtherings in um in appreciation for tea. Am I wrong? Am I right? I don't even know where I'm going. <clears throat> but no, guys, um, please comment below. Um, let me know your thoughts. Um, let me know how far you are into the tea journey. Um, let me know how 
how much you regard mouthfeel and would you be interested in a for example a black tea that was uh, not had a good flavor but was quite um, down the line in just just one flavor profile but that really excelled in uh, in mouthfeel would that be a thing for you guys uh, black tea is kind of one dimensional anyway but it'd be good for my market research and um, I'd, I'd just like to know what what you guys are, are thinking out there because us tea drinkers are quite solitary creatures out here in the west um, so hit me up thank you very much for watching guys uh, keep it guru. Happy coming.